You all right, mate? I'll make us a nice cup of coffee. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't think there was anyone here. Uh, are you Paddy? No, I'm uh, Adam. Um, Paddy's friend. This is this is Paddy. Oh, hi, Paddy. I'm Joe. Uh, Jason was telling me all about you last night. <laughs> Nothing libelous. <laughs> We've had a bit of a journey. Yeah, well, it's a long drive from Southampton. Oh, you're back home early. Is your wife in bed? Yeah. Yeah, I think she probably is. On the dot? Yep. Victoria! She's all ready. Great. Hello. You had a nice time? Yes, but I really missed you. <sighs> Where's my picture? I've got it here. I made it for you. Oh, that's lovely. Right, well, come on. Let's get you home then. You take that. Um, I've been thinking. Perhaps, uh, perhaps we don't need to go to court. I mean, this is all right, isn't it? No, Jack. No, it isn't all right. Not for me, it isn't. My sweetheart. Oh, look, Jace, I think I'm a bit surplus here at the moment. Yeah, well, you're not going out like that. We'll turn off the village. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. I'll go and get dressed. One of us needs to stay with him. Yeah. No, phone Lisa. Oh, would you? Only I can't take the day off. I'm already covering for him anyway. Oh, it's fine. Like, you've done loads. What are you going to say? Only I don't think he'd want anybody to know. Not even Lisa. I'll think of something. Lisa? I, I, it's Jason. Yeah, yeah look, I, I don't think I'm going to make it today. I'm not feeling so good. I, I think I've eaten something. No, 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 no there's no need for that. Yeah, I'll ring you later. All right, thanks. She was wanting to come over. No. Keep everybody away, I think. Great night. I'll, uh, I'll give you a ring, eh? Yeah. Yeah, please do. <laughs> look, I'm, I'm sorry about it. Ah, look, forget it. His knee's greater than mine. Right, I'm off then. Now, have you decided what you've got planned for today? Oh, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. If you had to be going to work, I might have gone for a bit of other than all. <laughs> You're all talking no trousers, Seth Armstrong. Anyway, you don't fool me for a minute. Now, what have you really got planned? I might find my way to book you. <sighs> well, you said that yesterday and the day before and the day before that. Well, but I had no money yesterday. Well, that don't usually stop you. Have you got any money today? No, but I might go for a bit, see it, lads. Well, uh, how would it be if I give you a fiver? McKenton, did I hear you right? Are you offering to give me a fiver to go to bookies? Yeah, well, it'll get you out. Yeah, Betty, Betty, love. <laughs> what can I do with a fiver? A tenner's more like it. <laughs> Well, here you go. I've got to go into work now, mate. But I'll pop back later on, see how you are. There's no need. Thanks, Adam. I'll get it. Zoe. Hi, saw the van, they're back early. Yeah. What's wrong? When we got to Southampton, 
Mandy was seeing somebody. Seeing someone else? What about all that stuff about her poor sick dad? What a bitch. Yeah, I know. Looks like that, doesn't it? But I'd leave him for that. Yeah, it's okay. I'll just, I'll just say I'm sorry. Paddy, I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't need your sympathy. Well, I'm sure you'll sort it all out. I'll, uh, I'll give you a ring later. You never liked her anyway. It's my night off tonight. That's nice. I don't suppose you fancy going out, do you? You've not had a tiff with Marlon, have you? A tiff? No. Why would you think... Oh, <laughs> I see what you mean. No, Marlon's lovely. It's just that when you're with a man all the time, it can get a bit, well, tedious. Mm, I wouldn't know. Yeah, sometimes I think you need a break from a, the male company. Sometimes I think you need the company of, well, other people. Or women, you mean? Yes, that's what I mean. Women. <laughs> so, do you fancy going on a girls' night out, then? Because we've never done that before, have we? I mean, we could celebrate me moving in, only a few months late. Go out on the wrestle, have a really wild night. OK, and where have you got in mind? The wool pack. <laughs> The wool pack? Yeah, for a wild night out. Well, don't get me wrong, Trish, I'm really fond of the wool pack, but you work there, and as for me, it's like an extension of my front room, only with alcohol and more people. No, I mean, we can go there first. Go to the wool pack for a drink first, and then we can go on to a really nice club somewhere. Sounds great. Yeah. I think you should get really done up tonight, Cathy. I'll give you a facial if you like. I can do all your hair fancy. I think you should get really dressed up tonight. You going in your jeans, then? No, I'm going to get really done up too. Of course. <laughs> OK, you're on. It's only me. I just got to say, thanks for putting me up or putting up with me, as some people would say. Putting you up will do, love. There's some beers for you and some bath stuff for Betty. Oh, well, this will go down a treat. So will this. Compact stuff, banana and orange. I think it's compact. Well, when she had a full bastard, it will have it on toast, eh? <laughs> Just a minute. This is an omen. Is it? I've been fancying this already. Look. Feeling fruity at one o'clock. And I've got money. Mine will not take it off at phone. They said I needed one of them plastic cards. You're still not going out, then? Not at the moment. I could take it for you. Ten pounds to win. I'm feeling fruity. Kelly fought round here, I've got it all wrong about you. <laughs> now, if I win... When you win? When I win, I want you to buy something for me. It'll not take long. What is the matter? Lady Muck. She's late. If you mean Tara, I don't think it's your place to speak so disparagingly about someone who's actually a partner of mine. It is my place. Yes, my partner is inconsiderately, characteristically, appallingly late. You wanted to see me? Yeah. Can you do a late job? Sorry, I can't. I promised a few people I'd see them in the pub. Is that all? Sorry. About time. C can you get one of the others? Am I late? I haven't got much choice, have I? An hour and five minutes, to be precise. Oh, it doesn't matter. These things happen. Have a seat. Now, if you'll excuse me for a minute, driver problem. I'll be back in a while. You're going to be such a gentleman. Chris Tate. I'm going to Ireland. That's why I'm late. Business. So exciting. What was it you wanted to talk about? Budgets. For this transport you wanted. I've made some notes while I was waiting. Now, what I've done is I've... Oh, it is so dreary, this place. I think we should meet at my office at the stud farm in future. Look, I really don't care where we meet. But if it'll help you turn up on time... Mm, I don't suppose you have much of a sense of the aesthetic, being somebody who just manages a lot of truck drivers. My sense of the aesthetic is fine, thanks. But, yeah, I do have an important job to do. So if we could uh, focus on the budgets. <laughs> right. Well... What I've done is I've, um, 
I've, I've estimated the first six months. Um, look, I actually, I don't have enough time to do this now. Um, maybe I should um, do it when I get back. Um, I'll see Chris on my way out, don't worry. I won't. I presume. It's not Scott, so it must be. It must be getting very difficult for you to actually remember which one it is you're buying for these days, with your growing collection of toy boys. Who's it going to be next, Sarah? Now, Mark, he'd be good, wouldn't he? Got all the right qualifications. Son of your best friend and very, very young. Smash this. Don't. Could I could smash it. Paddy? It's worth nothing. Look, Paddy, I know Mandy. Do you? Yes, I do. Yeah, I thought I knew her. She had a fling. A fling? But she still loves you. I know she does. And she's not going to give you up for some bloke in Southampton. <laughs> I didn't hear her, Jason. How she spoke to him. It was like she really. Like. She really. Don't let anyone in. Alright. I don't want to see anyone. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's a bit hard. <sighs> sorry. And I've always prided myself on my asbestos fingers. Sorry. I thought it would just be Paddy on his own. Zoe said he wasn't feeling very well. He isn't. I, I've, uh, I've got it as well. It's the same thing. Oh, this summer flu can be very nasty. Yeah. <coughs> well, I hope there's uh, enough for you both. It's just some soup. I was quite worried about you after what Zoe said. It, he's got it a, a lot worse than me. Oh, dear. Are you feeling really terrible? It's a lovely photo of you and Mandy. Were you on your honeymoon? Oh, you poor man. You poor, poor man. <laughs> Don't answer it. it. It might be Joe. I said don't answer it. I don't think Gloria will say anything. Well, maybe not, but I don't want to see anybody else. All right, not anybody. Well, what if it was Mandy on the phone? It probably was. Well, what would you, what would you say to her? I don't know. You're going to have to speak to her sometime. Am I? Well, don't you want to? No. What did she say about this bloke? I don't know, Jason. I wasn't there long enough for her to open a gob. Well, you said she was saying goodbye to him, so it might not mean anything at all. Jason, it did mean something. How do you know? You've never loved anybody, have you? You've never really loved anybody. Yeah. Well, no. Not really. Jason, I used to look at other people's relationships, you know, like uh, Roy and Kelly and, and people like that. And I used to feel sorry for them, because we weren't like that. We were different. We were special. Mandy was special. She slept with him, Jason. She slept with him while I was sat here worrying about a dad that cow! She'd lied about everything. 
and I hate her. I know we're just exactly like everybody else. Yeah, but you didn't give her a chance to say anything. You, you've got to give her a chance to explain. I don't want to hear it. Well, I know, Mandy. She won't let go. And you still love her, don't you? Don't you? I don't know. Yeah. She said she loves me. I don't know if she does. Anything I can do? Not really. Anything uh, in particular happened? Hey, yeah, your mother. Not responsible, I'm afraid. She's poisonous. Well. She thinks I'm sleeping with both of you. <laughs> well, she's finally flipped. It isn't funny. No. No, not for you. People aren't talking to me as it is. I've lost my kids. Richard's in Stevenage. And now people are accusing me of having an affair with you. I don't even like you. No, I know. <laughs> you won. I know, I watched it on telly. Weren't the same as being down at Bookies, though. It's dead exciting. Legs 11 led most of the way till it fell over, and then feeling free just come up out of nowhere. So, here's your package. And so to change as well. Good laughs. Hope you get down there soon, sir. Uh, maybe I will. But meanwhile, here's a bit of something for you. Treat yourself to a bottle of that compost. <laughs> Jason! You feeling better? Yeah, loads better, thanks. You're fishing the boat out. <laughs> Don't think you drank whiskey? Sometimes. I saw Paddy's van. They're back early. Yeah. I tried to get to see him, but Zoe said he wasn't feeling very well. That's all right. He's, uh, he's got the same as me. It's a bit nasty, this summer flu. I thought it was something you decked. Yeah, with a bit of flu as well. Jason, what's going on? You're as transparent as glass, so don't even try. When Paddy got there, Mandy was, um... Mandy was having some sort of an affair. So he's, he's come straight back. Having an affair? Lisa, where are you going? I'm going to see Paddy. No, no, you don't want to see anyone just yet. Jason, he's family. Hiya. <laughs> what do you fancy, Kathy? Ooh, one of Jason's special cocktails, I should think. Hey, you know her. Mike, don't you, Kathy? Know him? I chained myself to his lorry once. Yeah, though I hardly recognise you without your placard. <laughs> Ebenezer, can we have a Jason special for Kathy, please? I'll get that for you if you like. Oh, thanks. Actually, Trisha, I'm ever so sorry, but uh, I was expecting Jason behind the bar tonight. I don't know where he is. <laughs> Could you come and give us a hand? I know it's your night off. Oh, Bernice, it's not that busy. Yeah, we've got a party in later. Oh, no. Might be able to let you off after, though. Yeah, well, see how we go. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kathy. It sounds like I might be able to get away later, though. No, it's OK. I suppose we can still have a drink together. Even if you are the wrong side of the bar. Sorry. You have to put up with me. <laughs> I thought you'd have been down at pub by now. I've got my own pub here. What's all the...? <gasps> Your horse came in. You've been down to the betting shop and your horse came in. Kelly put bet on for me. Oh, so you've not been out then? Well, no need with Kelly. Now then, Betty. Have a sniff of that. <laughs> Kelly bought that as a thank you present. And this is from me. Oh. Uh, I bought one of four, but it got brought when, you know. It's all right, Seth. It's all right, though. Right, and that's a thank you present for where you've been. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, Seth! Seth, it's lovely, thank you. Ah, You will be going out again soon, though, won't you, love? Soon. Ah, well, you'd better, lad, because you may have worked out how to do your drinking and your betting at home, but what about your poaching, eh? 
Not having you chasing small furry animals round our bedroom. Feeling fruity. Hell, <laughs> I could be persuaded, I suppose. <laughs> but I told you not to tell anybody. Could I not trust anyone? It's not his fault I made him. Lisa, I don't want to talk to you. I only want to help. Well, nobody can help. Just leave me alone. Paddy, mate. Oh, why don't you just go and tell everybody in the pub? I wouldn't. Paddy. Just leave me alone. What, you mean Stash? Yeah, he looked like a Roy case. <laughs> no, we were getting on fine by the time he lent me his chains. <laughs> oh, yeah? Mm, not my type, though. And what is your type? Can I get you to another drink? Same again, please. Excuse me a moment. You know, you can hitch yourself to my wagon any time you like. Sounds like a chatter blind if ever I heard one. He's nice, isn't he? See? You might not need me to come out with you later after all. You've set me up, haven't you? No, I all was that just... night off business. Bits of cucumber, the dressing me up. You never meant to go out with me at all, did you? Well, oh. you're all in on this, aren't you? Why? Because you feel... What? You feel sorry for me? Look, Cathy, we only meant... How dare you? I mean, what did you say to Mike? Oh, be nice to poor old Cathy, because she hasn't got a man! 